This is Erin Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools, and this is an example of the Read and Write extension from TextHelp. It works for Chrome. Um, for teachers, it is free. And if I hit the little puzzle piece, you'll see my bar come down. There it is. This is the, the paid version, all of these tools. However, students do get a free version, which does include the read aloud feature. So what's nice about this extension is if you're on a website and it will run on the website, you simply click it and it gives you the free tools. And notice I have it pause, but it will read any uh, most, most websites. Horizon Forum, Wings of Fire Forum. And what's nice is that it does um, highlight the text as it reads. So that's really a great tool. It works across many platforms. Um, it will not work on everything, you'll notice. So um, when I was on something, it wouldn't pop up. So if I'm on my drive and I hit it, it doesn't always work. However, there are other tools that if you find read and write won't read aloud that you can use. And this, so that's an extension, Chrome Web Store, read and write for Google Chrome. And that's how that works. And we'll take a look at this other extension. Um, this is called Read Aloud, a text-to-speech voice reader. So Read and Write does a little more, um, but this one, Read Aloud, will work across different platforms. So if I just um, highlight text, it will read it. So this one, I won't find the text to read here, so not on that page. But if I go on this page and I highlight some text, List of Chrome extensions for assistive technology. So that one works as well. And you may find that this extension will work in places where this one will not. But Read and Write has a really nice reader. And in the settings, you can alter um, some of those items. So if you click it down, it does have some settings in here that you can play with. You might have to go to the Read Write site for that. So that's in the Chrome Web Store. And then lastly, this extension is Select and Speak. It works just like the Read Aloud extension. It does have um, options that you can. Additional resources, alter. You can um, alter the voice and the speed. Um, it does have a paid account, but there's a free version and the free version works fine. Um, it does do some translating, which is nice if you choose the different languages. So if I choose um, Portuguese and I leave it set and I can also change my speed here and I could add some shortcuts. And then if I go to a document and I highlight and I hit play. Notice it's translating it as best it can to Portuguese. So that's an option too. It will also read aloud um, Google Forms and I believe it will also read aloud in GoFormative. So these are three read aloud tools that work nicely on non-PDFs. If the item is a PDF, my tool of choice is to use Kami. So I hope that helps. Thank you.